Hey guys, the Quack45 here, and today I have episode 14 of my Versatech Survival series. So, uh, in this episode I'm going to be showing you a little mod called Bibliocraft, showing you one thing from it that I'm going to be making use of uh, to remind me what I need to get done as the series goes on. Um, I'm also, I, I forgot to mention something about the chemical, or, or about the, um, microscope, and I'm going to mention that. But I'm also going to show you upgrades for, uh, Tinker's Construct weapons and, uh, tools and stuff. So, let's hop to it. Alright, I'm going to start out on, with the, uh, microscope, because it's real quick. So basically, I showed you in this that when you put stuff in here, if it has a, a recipe in Tinker, or in, um, but what I uh, mine, mine cam it'll show up here it'll show you the recipe uh, but um, I didn't mention I should I told you to put the chemist journal in the bottom but I didn't show you what it does the, that'll show you you can see all the items that you've placed in the uh, microscope even if they don't have a recipe so this has nothing and um, this will this shows you what what it'll produce when you put it in there and how you how you can create it from a synthesis machine if possible if uh, applicable and all that so, uh, yeah, that's kind of cool. Uh, now let's get to, um, Tinker's Construct upgrades. Now, this is something that I haven't touched on. Uh, I should have touched on much earlier because it means I'll make use, I'll be able to make use of this bow a lot easier. So basically, you're going to go to a tool station or a tool forge if you have that. The tool forge is a little bit more advanced. I'll probably build one eventually. And, uh, first of all, I'm going to repair the arrows, as you know. These are Orichalcum arrows, so if you use Orichalcum, you can, uh, put it in there and repair them. 131 in total good uh, but you also see these two slots here um, okay I'm back anyway what was I on about uh, I was repairing my arrows and I was saying okay so uh, you might have seen when I leveled these up when I leveled up my tools I got upgrades on them random upgrades but you can also add these upgrades yourself but you just have to have upgrade slots available and because just about every level um, that you, or just about every level that you get, you'll get a modifier slot. We're gonna upgrade this bow with the redstone, which is gonna add haste, which increases the speed that you pull it at. And a uh, nice thing is that it's it's 50, um, 50 of the or f and each redstone upgrade gives you 50 slots. So uh, if you add blocks of redstone plus one in the bottom, it'll give you 10 for each one. So if I do this. Oopsies. And that's all of them. So basically what that does is, is it, um, there, it gives you, see, one modifier slot will produce, will give you one of these redstone upgrades with 50 slots available for it. So, uh, you could put in 50 pieces of redstone on the bow in total. Um, any more than that would take another upgrade slot that I don't have available because I need to level it up more. Um, and then also with these arrows, you can add quartz. I have uh, one modifier slot available. With these modifier or with these arrows, you can add quartz, and I have a fair amount here. So, block of quartz is of course four quartz, not nine reds or n not nine like in redstone. Uh, so, we're gonna just fill this up with some of it. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fill it entirely. Okay, yeah, this. You know, I'll just do this last bit manually because it's only uh, like six more. Look at this speed. I'm a speed ninja. Okay, there we go. Now we have those upgraded. Uh, quartz is going to add sharpness, which is going to do more damage. You can do that with uh, swords as well. So I have one modifier slot. If I wanted to add this to it, I could. I'm not going to, though. Uh, I might upgrade that eventually, but I'm not sure. So let's go try this out. Now, as you can see down here, the maximum damage, just because we did that upgrade on the arrows, is 17.5. It used to be 10. Um... So that'll do 17.5 hearts if I pull the bow all the way back. And remember how it used to take a fair while to pull the bow all the way back. Now it's a little bit faster. Uh, you'll need a lot of levels for it to be able to, like, actually be really, really, really fast. Um, like, once you get a ton of redstone on it, a really high level of haste, like 250 or so, uh, you will pull it back in, like, a second. So that's really nice to have. But as you can see, I can get over a pretty long range, nice and easy absolutely destroying these monsters which is why uh modify which is why tinker's construct weapons are so valuable because these arrows are pretty cheap i have 131 of them or so they do require or shalcom but uh i have a fair amount of that and in fact soon hey look at that i have a chest plate that i don't need um 
And in fact, soon I'm going to have a system up, probably do that in the next episode or something. I'm going to have a system up with mechanism to have triple the uh, stuff from ores. And because I have another one bites of dust that mod installed, um, that means that I can pretty much work with any ore uh, and triple my output of any ore. In fact, with mechanism, once you eventually get to it, you can quadruple or quintuple your ore output, which is pretty insane. That does require a lot of stuff and a complex machinery system, but uh, I'm going to get to that eventually. So uh, I'm just killing a bunch of mobs because this is fun. And I can get levels on this bow, which is, of course, what I need. Uh, this will kill most every mob and a fair amount of armored mobs. Not all of them, obviously, um, but it'll get a good amount of them. This guy appears to be pretty far away. Uh, I got him, though. You can't escape the reaper. Okay, yeah, I think that's just about escaping the range of this, uh, this bow. The arrows in the bow does have a certain range. Boom! Yeah, see, now I have, uh, gotten another upgrade on this bow. How much longer on the arrow? Uh, oh, jeez, a lot more kills. Okay. Um, but, as you can see, I got another modifier slot, and I got the luck thing, which is, uh, Oh, look at that marine jacket. I can look like a badass now. Um, I got the luck modifier, which is basically looting, so uh, when I kill mobs, they're of more likelihood of dropping, you know, armor that they're wearing or stuff like that. Anyway, um, that's very cool to have. Hey, there's another one right here. Boom. See, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually modify this one again, because I want to have... I could use these modifier slots for plenty of other things. The, the books that you get in, uh, or on Tinker's Construct will tell you all the things that you can add as modifiers. I'm just going to add some more redstone because I want really high speed on this bow. So I'll be right back when I'm done with that. Okay, I'm back. So as you can see, I now have a 100 redstone upgrade on this. And you, as you can see, the lapis upgrade. Hang on. Okay, so uh, the lapis upgrade will only give you a fraction of what it can. That's obviously a 450 in total. That's going to be a pretty damn impressive uh, bonus on the... Um, whatever on the like drops and stuff but I don't care too much so I'm not gonna max that out until I have a ton of stuff but as you can see it says a draw speed of 1.3 seconds so that's pretty good let's go give this guy a shot should be still or it should still be night night out so I can get some kills turning today but that should be fine 1.3 seconds on the uh, draw speed is going to be pretty good so as you can see not anything to um, to scoff at if you will <laughs> So this will certainly get the job done for now. Um, I would like to have more and more modifier slots, or uh, more and more redstone on it, because I do want that for like 0.25 seconds or something, I don't know. Some I've gotten some insane speeds on the draw speed before, so I want to get that back. Uh, so yeah, that is modifier slots, and of course, when we upgrade, we'll get another modifier slot on the arrows. And these probably also have a few modifier slots available. Anyway, so... Uh, finally, the, uh, last part that I have to show you is Bibliocraft. Now, Bibliocraft is a mod that adds a lot of, a lot of little things. It's really good if you want to build, like, a, a sort of nice house that looks, that looks good, because it adds a lot of furniture and stuff, so as you can see, it adds lanterns and lamps and tables and desks, and, uh, there's also some functional things, like this, uh, painting press. I think that'll copy paintings. You can make paintings. I'm not exactly sure how that works, but, um, that's a thing. There's sword pedestals. And fancy signs that allow you to add graphics, uh, two graphics that are like item pictures, and all kinds of stuff. Um, so it's a it's a very cool mod. But the one that I care about is uh, the clipboard because it will allow you to have a checklist of things that you need to get done. So it takes a pressure plate, three paper, a feather, and an ink sack like that. Here's a clipboard, and as you can see here, you can title it. And then you can add a bunch of different things on here and check. Mark them as not, or like, mark them as complete. Mark them as, I don't know, canceled. And then just remove the check ent entirely. And I believe it's infinite pages. So uh, if you have a lot of things to do, you can have a lot of things to do. So I'm going to be marking this up off camera with uh, stuff that I need to get done. Because I do forget that at times. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so that's going to be pretty helpful for me. And uh, Bibliocraft is probably something that you might have an interest in if you like that sort of thing, or the clipboard itself is also very nice to have if you need to remind yourself of things to get done. Anyway, I think I'm going to finish off the video here. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. I certainly enjoyed making it. Thanks for watching, and bye.